There's always next year. Hopefully there won't be a Von Biedermeyer next year. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna talk about what you just said later. Come on, open her up. Oh, Millicent, you're even more anxious than I am. Relax, I need the box. I have to make a diorama for school. I'm gonna set up a video call with an animal shelter in Japan. Trying to get him to donate a bunch of puppies to Kevin. Millicent's here to translate. You speak Japanese? Well, I didn't understand any of that. Do you speak Japanese or not? You know, my mom played Kenny G to me in the womb. She read that playing smooth jazz to a baby in utero was supposed to make them come out gifted. So. <laughs> With what? The gift of being lame? <laughs> Cut it out. Be nice to Pearl. Because she's my perfect little cupcake. You're my perfect little jelly bean. <laughs> We're the worst. The worst. <laughs> yeah, you really do suck. Paul said the producers love my child internet star angle. They know you're not a child now, right? Anyway, my partner and I just have to make an intro video and then go to an audition challenge tomorrow. Listen, I know I'm the obvious choice. For a race? I've seen you get car sick in an elevator. That elevator went faster than normal elevators. But tomorrow is Model UN. And Millicent needs me. I'm the Gale to her Oprah. Oh, yeah, Millicent, aren't you gonna beat your nemesis, Henry von Biedermeier? He's won the Golden Gavel four years running. But this year, that gavel is mine. I can taste it. It's metallic, like blood. <laughs> Did you see? There's a new episode of my favorite show. Oh, no. Well, don't tell me Wes and Bo made a new one. Okay, I won't tell you. Showing hurts more. I can't commit. All because of Carly. The ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. But I'd expect that from Bo, but Wes? He's become such a douche, he makes Chet Hanks look like Tom Hanks. Yeah, he works craft beer into every conversation. And they're having people nail ice to the ice queen. It makes no sense. It melts. We just end up with wet boxes. <laughs> well, it's official. The internet hates me. This is where you guys go, no, no. No, no. no. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Remember, when we see Byron, just like we practiced. Gee, lady, thanks for opening my perspective. You got an 11, I need you at a six. <laughs> Hello, child. May I be of assistance? Byron, <laughs> hi. I was just helping this young person realize the importance of not being so focused on the doll's occupations. <laughs> Gee, lady, thanks for opening my perspective. Oh, run along, random youth. <laughs> that was a three and you know it. <laughs> yeah, you better go. Finding a parking spot in Seattle is like finding a quiet Aries. <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> so true. <laughs> uh, don't even get me started on how an Aries gets gas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye, bye, bro. Bye, bye. <laughs> Total Aquarius move. Not that he would know. <laughs> yeah, not that he would know. <laughs> Agreeing with Millicent makes me feel young. Pearl loves astrology, and I want to be able to talk to her about it. Ooh, let me see your birth chart. It's like the old saying, teach a man to fish, and he'll catch a Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, girl, let me catch a breath. That is fully hilarious for those in the know. <laughs> Do you want to see my new sticker? Shh, reading. <laughs> Your mom's here. Finally! Uh, I mean, aw, already? <laughs> but we didn't check the oil and bond futures yet. Let's save some fun for next time. Bye! <laughs> do you ever feel like you're more sophisticated than your friends? <laughs> of course you do. You're friends with Carly. So I made a list of all the reasons to run the Groovy Smoothie and all the reasons to run the Kevin app. OK. Under restaurant, I've got run my own business, more keys, potential to become a front for the Russian mob, and install a bidet, but only for VIPs. And under Kevin app, I've got I won't let Freddy down. Well, if you're going with the longest list, I think it's clear. If you're going with the dumbest list, it's also clear. Guess who found the coolest fedora? 
can save that story for when whatever this is blows over. We know how much you like Pearl, but we thought it would help to get the whole picture. <laughs> We've done a deep dive on Pearl, and trust me, the world does not seem to be her oyster. I have it on good authority that she claps when the plane lands. She orders ice cream in a cone, then asks for a cup. Okay, Princess Diana. And I've seen her eat a banana without peeling at first. Oh, so you're not just bullying Pearl, you're spying on her too? Peel it all? Is it even ripe? Don't blame Millicent. This was all my idea. I'm gonna go polish your old fencing trophies. That always helps me blow off steam. <sighs> Millicent, now that my app's taken off, your old dad has a little extra lettuce in his crisper. I think it's time we look for a new place. I do not think so. Good talk, though. That's why, in the spirit of world peace, we are pleased to compromise with the kingdom of Norway. Do you mind if I make some edits to the speech you wrote? Yeah. I just want you to get along better with your classmates and for your teacher to stop calling me to say she's afraid of you. She carries a squirrel around on the weekend so people will talk to her. So maybe we don't take her advice. Can you just try for me? Sure. I can try to dial down my intensity because it's intimidating to the losers. I'm not asking you to do that. I am just asking you to make your Model UN speech less hostile. That's literally what I just said. Wow, Granddad Shay. That was a really interesting coin presentation. Thank you, young lady. Guess you could say I'm a coin influencer. You're a real cointent creator. <laughs> Look at that! We both coined new phrases! And that's it for our first episode of My, My Two Cents. Coin tent creator. Not my proudest moment, but he pays me $20 every time I laugh at one of his jokes. <laughs> and say what you will, Granddad brought a ton of viewers to your live stream. Way more than you usually get. You filmed that on my live stream? Well, what happened to my plant cam? Turns out there was a change of plants. <laughs> Good evening, fine sir. Before I seat you, may I take your coat of which you're not wearing? If it's okay, I'll just walk around. I ate before I came. Good call. Wish I'd done the same. They served us tomatoes in this weather. Where are we, Portugal? <laughs> Hey, bestie. Um, hey, Melissa. Now's not a good time. Uh, we're actually about to go to dinner. Hey, little mama. I'm Carter. I met your mother, Carter. I'm Harper's bestie. Wait, you guys are best friends? Cool. So are you really young or really short? No judgment either way. So we're gonna go, but you can stay as long as you like. Hold up. I got some questions for this one. Where were you born? What's your credit score? Why are you not wearing socks? You're not going on a boat. Are you going on a boat? Um, I should go. I think you need to put your bestie in time out. No, wait. You have such great bone structure, please. His loss, bestie. When I grow up, I will to turn a profit by turning heads. Yep. Great. <laughs> I need this monster in my life. All right, change of plans. This guy is an art critic, so he is about to have the worst dining experience ever. Please do me the honor of having an awful meal. So just continue on as we were. <laughs> I feel terrible that I made Millicent tone it down. Baby, why would you ask her to tone it down when she was clearly born to turn it up? Millicent, that speech was deliciously asinine. Glad Miss Cox passed along the message from my mother that you should tone it down. <laughs> Dad. Destroy Gavelmeyer. <clears throat> oh, Henry. <laughs> Quick, FYI. I'm out on your resolution, and I'm introducing one to censure Norway instead. You can't do that. What are you gonna do? Throw smoked salmon on me? Dump a bottle of Voss water on my head? Yeah, that's right. 
My dad researched all of Norway's top exports, and they're pathetic. Just like you. Yes! Dragon Mama! Sully, I thought you had that early morning flight to Luxembourg. He has some unfinished business. He always does. Hey, can you get us some popsicles? Yeah, but there's only one grape one left, and you know Spencer's gonna be the... And now, his business is finished. <laughs>